Hey, if you want to see a glacial cascade mining build in action, you've come to the right place. Uh, I suspect that these kinds of builds will be very popular uh, in uh, the new 3.1 patch because they're apparently buffing it. Anyways, uh, so this is, uh, I did this for the uh, race, so I had to actually do this video while the, uh, the league isn't voided. Um, so it's very simple. Uh, you just plant a bunch of mines on the ground and you hit detonate and then uh, you kill stuff. Uh, so this is, uh, we're in mayhem right now. Also, I should summon my, uh, stone golem, because that will, uh, help a fair bit. Um, so this is probably one of the sillier builds I've ever done. Also, there's something really hurting there. Probably cast damage, but, you know. This is definitely one of the sillier builds I've ever done. It's very strong. Um, let me just tell you, I, the only reason I stopped playing with it, because I kind of just got bored with the mine playstyle, um, that's the only reason I, I actually stopped playing it. So there's a breach here. This is a uh, oh no, sorry, this is not an invasion boss place. This is breach. I, I didn't like it. What it was. So there's gonna be ten breaches. I'll do one for you. So the totem is detonate has detonate mines, and all you do is you infinitely cast your mines down while you have this, and then everything dies on the map forever. I have all clarity as well. Although that's probably when you get this mana flask, it's probably not necessary anymore. Um. Uh, I use the really super fast attack speed uh, weapon because uh, that's how we roll. Uh, this also hurts. Oh. I also decided to pick up the, uh, uh, the, the get all your life back instantly flask because I felt that this league in particular was very not forgiving. And it's also the reason I got, I'm not picking anything at this up because I'm done with this league honestly. Um, everything's voided this league so it's not like I'm taking any of it to standard. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I was talking about before. It's, uh, oh yeah, I, I use that, I use that, this flask because it's just like, I have enough chaos resistance and life regen to offset the cost of it, so. Uh, we're also a mine over matter build and some other bullshit like that, because mines are, mines are like fucking 109 mana pop. And this is on a 5 link, because I didn't manage to, I didn't, I did not 6 link uh, this league yet, so let's just go to the boss. Because, like, everything just basically dies in one hit. I mean, the, the big disadvantage of this build is that, like, you're not self-casting it, so it's, like, two buttons instead of just one to kill everything. So, you know, if that bothers you, then... Ripperoni's past Ripperoni, or whatever the fuck. But I'll get into... As soon as I find, uh... As soon as I find, uh... The boss here, I'll kill her, and then we'll, uh... I'll have a good time, just so you can see. So I've only done normal Zuri with it. Um, as I said, I'm, I have no doubt that this is, like, you could do every piece of content in the game with this build. Uh, the only disadvantage is that there's not a lot of leeching you can do with this, but uh, that doesn't matter because they are nerfing Vault Act next league, so I don't think leech is going to be necessarily that popular. Who knows how the meta is going to shift, but, you know, 3.1, man. You gotta just be able to live through stuff if you're being retarded and just running into things like me. So as I said, it requires two hands. It's a two-hand build, unless you just like map one of your mouse buttons to detonate mines, which is uh, not a bad idea. I mean, whatever is comfortable with you, because every time I have to press like D to detonate all the mines I placed, if I don't have the totem that does it. Um, by the way, this is an excellent league starter build. Um, one of the best I think I've ever done. Uh, like, it just, it scales so well. And as you can see by my health dropping to almost nothing, it's definitely hardcore viable as well. Now, if you play carefully, then it's actually, like, fine. I don't play carefully, though. I don't know why these things hurt so much, though. I, like, I know there's some wonderful breaches here. Did I miss the boss somewhere? What the fuck? Where the fuck's the boss? Alright. We have no idea where the boss is. But, uh, that's okay. So, the the speed of which it clears is, is, I mean, it's not like the highest clear speed, but it's like, as you can see, like, I... You can clear things in a very, uh, depending upon your playstyle, in a very non-threatening way, because, like, look at the range of that shit. It's ridiculous. Uh, so, like... You basically hit things from the other side of the map. Uh, well, okay, maybe, maybe not the other side of the map, but whatever. But everything's, uh, it, it removes a lot of the danger from the game. Okay, I think he's, oh, I think that boss is over here somewhere. This is a very odd layout. 
And like all the rares I one hit, so that's fine. Ah, oh, there it is. There's the, there's the boss. Alright. Alright, let's just uh, make a portal here just in case. Also, we're taking damage. Because I was just standing in uh, the poo gas. So, I mean, I, I use a stone golem just because it's very nice as a life regen mechanic, in my opinion. And we also have these fire traps, and the fire traps will uh, grant me some more damage uh, if I play my cards right. Okay, let's not get hit by that. Okay, how long do you want to do that for, asshole? Alright, so then you get to a point where you're just like planting all the mines in the universe. And then she's dead. So that's it. So, I mean, it's not like, uh, it's not, uh, one, like probably the best build in the game to clear everything, but the thing is, the amount of items it needs is next to nothing. Like, what I am showing you here, you can do, like, Guardians, Azuri, anything with relative safety, as long as you, like, are mechanically, like, you can run around the map and shit like that, you know? Um, and it does so much damage. It's a, it's a boss killing kind of build. Um, it clears, and it clears relatively well too, so I'll just uh, kind of go through everything. So, uh, as I said, I use Brightbeak, uh, I, I said earlier, I use Brightbeak to, um, to go fast. Um, I use Carcass Jack as the area damage and area effective skills and things like that. And so I managed to get, uh, so I, I, I currently have a support with, um, so Glacial Cascade, Remote Mine. Uh, concentrated effect, which doesn't matter for this build, minefield and trap and mine, mine damage support, and I think the last one I'd put either increased critical strikes or I don't know some some other ma uh, trapping build. Uh, I used Joffrey's Crest just because it was what I had. It gives me resistances. I mean, it could I could get more life out of it if you gear this slightly better. In fact, both the shield and the helm are probably garbage, but it's just it was a it was the uh, it was a mayhem league it was a temp league so this is just what I had and I felt no 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 need to change it out um, so these two you can I, I, what I would do is I would get a shield with like lots of spell crit and spell damage um, and the helm I, I don't think really matters just something with armor maybe who knows or some like life some mitigation or something I don't know I don't know if there's anything really good for that um, and uh, Amulet is whatever, uh, ring is whatever. Oh yeah, and I use Essence Worm. Essence Worm is also a requirement of the build. I would say this is the most important part of the build, and I mean, Combs Roots are also very nice. So, I use Essence Worm with Hatred, uh, because I have this guy up here, Clear Mind, which gives me increased spell damage when no mana reserved, so it's like free spell damage. That's kind of nice. Uh, we use Combs Roots because um, I did, I, I, they are a very cheap uh, pair of boots. Uh, for especially when you're doing a temp league, it, it, there's actually no reason not to go for this. It doesn't mean though anything with evasion on it is useless. Like this carcass jack, the evasion does nothing for me now. But you know it's fine. Um, I mean it's it's the it's the life that matters um, in this in this case. Uh, I use a rustic sash with a high physical roll. Um, now I used him star because I just simply got on the ground and I kind of just like the physical damage convert to cold damage. Um, by the way, I, I didn't give you any DPS values because all it does is give me average damage, and then with flasks, it's like 24,000. So, him sorrow, especially in 3.1, is not going to be necessary because there's that new threshold jewel, so you might want to look into the new Glacial Cascade threshold jewel if you're planning on doing a 3.1 build. Um, but like, it, you can see it kind of raises my damage by about 1,500, I'd say, yeah, something like that. Uh, because it converts the rest of the the, uh, the damage from Glacial Cascade to cold, so that's why I used it. Um, obviously, a pair of life gloves would be much better here. Um, or you can get him burned, but I, I it was Templi, couldn't get it at all, so that's it. Uh, flasks I use, I was lucky I got a Wise Oak, actually, pretty much when I started mapping, so I used that one. Uh, we have a Diamond Flask, and then we have a... Azuri's Promise is the best flask. Diamond is good, uh, Azuri's Promise really good. Uh, Wise Oak is, I would say, probably not necessary. Um, it's just a min-maxing thing. Uh, we use whatever this Sanctified Flask is because um, while we're waiting for Vol Clarity, um, I mean, honestly, you can you can substitute Vol Clarity for Vol Grace, actually. That might be a good option. But anyways, um, uh, this is this Mana Flask is more than sufficient to basically, uh, like, you, you plant a couple of mines and your mana's about half, you pop it. And then while you're taking damage, your mana will keep going up because of this flask, and then all your spells are free. 
So it's actually a really good flask, but it might be a little bit pricey. I, I think we got ours for like 12 gas or something. I don't know. Um, and then I use Forbidden Taste, uh, which is also uh, not a required part of this build, but you know you can do that. Uh, it basically just it's just a go back to full life flask for me, and with two uses. So um, I thought I found it to be perfectly fine. Uh, all right. So as for uh, oh, for the other links, I have uh, Frost Bomb, Enfeeble, Immortal Call on level one Castle Damage Taken. Oh, and also it's plus one because of the helm. I didn't realize that until now. Probably don't want to do that, but you know. Uh, shit. Oh, whatever. Fuck it. Who cares? I, I, I'm sure it was working, though, so don't worry about it. Um, and then on, uh, so we have uh, Shield Charge, Faster Attacks, Fortify, Vol Clarity, Increased Duration, Summon Sto Stone Golem. Uh, I put a Portal Gym here, because why the fuck not? We also have Spell Totem and Detonate Mines, as well as uh, Fire Trap and Cluster Traps. And there's one more trapping, there's like multiple traps, which is also a good one. So, this is, uh, I'll, I'll just bring this out. I just didn't have the links for it, so that's why I didn't do that per se. Um, I don't know what you'd drop. But like, the, I'll tell you the reason I have Fire Traps. We don't actually use Fire Traps, they're actually level 1. Uh, but we have our Ascendancy here, which is... Uh, we got the bomb specialist. We got the detonation, de demolition spe specialist. When you get over here, then that's when your build really takes off. By the way, this is the really good one. Um, and then you can go explosives. And then if I actually did Uberlad, I'd just probably get this node and then this node because it gives you elemental damage. There's absolutely nothing else in this that actually is worthwhile. So the reason I do uh, the reason I do this is because okay, so we have fire traps. So uh, for e uh, you get eight percent increased damage for each trap, and it has to be on the ground. So before, when you're setting up for like a Zara, a Zara or something or some boss, uh, you just kind of like plant this down and you have eight mines. I can have up to nine. So that's nine times eight. That's uh, a shit ton of damage. Uh, it's like a 72% increased damage just for having that link. Now, if I actually linked it like that and actually put the multiple traps on, because that also allows for two additional traps, that allows for 12 and uh, that's about 100% increased damage just from throwing that down. And when they go off, the damage bonus goes away. So you can see right now I have like, I, I got basically 3k damage, average damage from that. So that's pretty good. Uh, but you know, you're, you're, you may vary with how you want to do this. What is this? Oh, that ain't mine. You may vary on how, how you want to, you know, set that up. Uh, but that's just how I set it up. Uh, what else is there? I think that's pretty much it. I'll go through the passive tree though, real quick. Uh, we take elemental damage, life. Uh, I mean, this was a nice cast speed node and attack speed, both of which helped me move around and cast stuff. It's like the only one I got, I think. Because cast speed doesn't actually help you plant more mines, it's only mine laying speed. But I got this anyway, so uh, sue me. Uh, we got critical strikes, uh, we got some garbage here, nullification. So the main clusters is you want to head for this cluster first. Uh, so this is... um. Mines can't be damaged for 5 seconds after being placed, and 20% uh, increased mine detonation area of effect, and they penetrate elemental resistances, particularly this one, Clever Construction is the big one. And then I kind of made my way here, I got some life, I got some more crit. Uh, the crit chance, by the way, on the mines is, right now, uh, since Glacial Cascade has 5% crit chance, my crit chance is 21. When I pop that flask here, uh, it becomes... Oh, it just becomes lucky. I, I forgot it doesn't actually... It, it rolls it twice. Sorry. I forgot about that. Um, so yeah, it just it rolls... To, it becomes like... I, I, I don't know how the fuck to calculate that. Or double or something. I don't know. But it becomes it becomes nice. So crit, this this one makes it roll twice. Um, so your chances are you'll get crits. And that's why I said I would have actually put on... Um, increased critical strikes as my last... Uh, um, my last thing. Because it, it puts it up to like 35... Uh, th basically 36 percent and you roll that twice and that's pretty nice so um and as i said if you had like a nice crit spell uh shield and stuff like that i think i think it would be actually really good um and let's see what else we have here so uh snow forged uh so that's some more crit and also some cold damage and since we've converted everything to cold damage anytime we get more cold damage it's also very good uh this gives you power charges when you uh plant mines so you basically have three mines all the time uh, which also gives you more crit. I don't know what the crit is at max. I, I, I assume it's like, as I said, if we decked it out, we'd probably be at like 60% or something. But I didn't deck it out. Um, 
Probably getting one of these power charge clusters would be good, especially the one that gives you more spell damage would be very nice. Uh, what jewels do I? I think I just have some temp jewels that like gives me life because I was wanting to live. Um, so you get blast radius, you get more spell crit here, you get some life and resist here. It's some elemental damage from cast well, spell damage and cast speed, uh, heart and soul, and then we obviously go for the mind over matter, uh, which increases my life by a substantial portion. I would have actually finished these two nodes um, had I made it to 90 this 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 race, but I didn't do that because I just got bored with it. Um, there's some more life here, some elementalists here, amplify, oh, and we got another jewel sucky here and some life. And so basically what I do is probably to finish this off is either more cold damage, maybe like Frostwalker uh, would be a good node to get. Um, as I said, it's maybe, maybe like two power charges because I'm like near them. Maybe that's that's possible for me to do. Uh, I, I didn't find, oh, critical multiplier. Actually, I would have gotten these, gotten these as well because I'm critting so much. Crits are actually very nice for this build. Uh, that's probably what, what I would have finished the build off with. Maybe the spell damage here as well. You know, can't say no to spell damage. Um, so yeah, as I said, I, I, I like the build um, to, as a league starter, but as soon as I got to like some of the content, it just kind of was boring to me. Um, I just it, It's just a playstyle thing. The thing, the thing is, it's strong as shit. It is such a good build, actually, and I think uh, if they're buffing it in the next, uh, in 3.1, Maybe like like I I would start the league with it and then maybe get a couple items and then play a more fun build. That's what and I may I may even do that in three point one. Actually, I may start use this as a league starter because this is actually one of the best league starters I've ever I've ever played. Because what I'd start with is glacial cascade, remote mine, uh, whoops, sorry, uh, remote mine, minefield, and probably conch effect. And then you put on trap and mine damage support as your fifth link. And your last link would be Critical Strikes. Or maybe something else, I don't know. It's just because Glacial Cascade is such a crappy-ass uh, uh, crit chance that I decided not to do it. So, that's uh, that's uh, what that's what I did for this build. As I said, I, 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 would, I would actually recommend it. Um, as I said, as a, most as a league starter. Uh, so, um, maybe, maybe after you've played some builds before... Uh, and you're looking for something that's just consistently good. Uh, this is a pretty good one because, uh, as I said, I have a bunch of this is this most of this is garbage. Like it's just things I got, I, and I never found anything better. I never upgraded it, and by the time I got to the end of the league, nobody was going to sell anything new because it's as I said, void league. So who cares? So I mean, that's pretty pretty fine. So, anyways, um, that's it for that. That's all I have to say about this build. Uh, that was, a, that was an interesting league, kind of. It got tiring after a while, but uh, I think that was the other thing, is that the league didn't go very well with uh, everything else. As I said, I used Stone Golem because, um, I mean, you can use the Fire Golem or something, but I have enough damage. Attacking Caspi doesn't do anything for mines, as I said, because, uh, you know, you're just planting it as fast as possible, you know, and you can have up to 11, each of which <laughs> raises the AoE, you know, right here. More AoE. For each of mine, um, so it's like you know, you don't really need the damage. Um, I I just found like because the 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 stone golem offset the use of the forbidden taste, and it's like the only way you have of regening in combat other than popping a flask constantly. And as you can see, my flask slots were getting kind of full here um, because I'd say this one, uh, sorry, the the mana flask, the diamond flask, and the Azuri's promise flask were definitely required. I'd say they're so good. They add so much to the build, um, and you can you can use a standard mana flask. It doesn't have to be this one. You can just use any mana flask. I, I think I still have the one I was using before that. Um, no, I don't. Oh no, here it is. Yeah, I just used this before, and then I upgraded to this eventually, and then, you know, either Wise Oak and for taste or two Insta flasks is what I would do, or maybe like an Insta flask and like a slow heal flask. That's it for this build for me, so um, thanks for tuning in, and uh, peace out, bye.